YouTube! This is Firewizard23, and welcome back to Let's Play Quest for Glory 1, So You Want to Be a Hero. Yep, mic is on. Okay! <laughs> Alright, so as we last left off, we were kind of in a tough position, because we actually need more magic points to use the fetch spell, but we're out of po we're out of strength. We're also out of coins. Hmm. Rest. Rest. No. A little better. We don't have enough... Uh, Strength. I need time to go by, and I'm going to try a technique to make some time go by. You know, let, let's take this episode to talk to Bruno. Uh, talk to man. You talking to me? Yes. No one responds. Hmm. Oh, maybe I should have asked him what I wanted to ask him about. Well, let's try that again. Wait, let's try again. Wait. Ask about the town. What's in it for me? If you got me a silver, I might have a bit of information you can use. Hmm. Unfortunately, I don't have actually have money to give him, so we're kind of stuck. All right. Uh, God, what can we do? Hmm. I, just need some, I just need some time to go by so I can make it be night. Let's get back to Aranda's Peace, and hopefully it'll be sunset approaches by the time I get there. Let's go. Let's go exploring. <laughs> Boldly adventuring. We shall never surrender. Never give up. I do like the animation of the call here. It does really look like it's... Oh it boy. Hostile intent is evident. You prepare for battle. Oh no! No! I didn't have enough HP! It was a tough battle and you lost, but never fear! All you have to do is restore your game and... What do you mean, restore what game? <laughs> Let's restore back to the save I had. Alright. That didn't work, let's try again. <laughs> oh, well, that's nice. Oh, that's just, uh... Hopefully, actually, let's run to a round piece so we can try to avoid the monster encounters. Ah! Azovis! Run! <laughs> I have to walk where I'm walking. What time is it now? Midday and day three. We need time to go by. Ah! Actually, as long as we're doing stuff, let's. Actually, can we throw rocks here? The atmosphere, the atmosphere here is peaceful and calm. There's no need to throw anything. Oh, wait, can we eat the fruit? Since it's a new day, can I eat this? Younger has been totally satisfied, so I can't do that. Can rest, though, since we ran, so that restored a little bit. Yeah, one more. I got enough power for one more fetch. Actually, let's do it. Let's cast the fetch spell. The spell has no effect, but it did yield training on my fetch spell, which is now up to skill 14. Just need time to go by. Can we throw the rock? I mean, we cannot yield any additional skill in rock throwing, even though I can do it. Because watch me, I'll throw all these rocks. Remember, I had zero throw skill in throwing. So just kind of prove my point. I think I had nine, I think. Yeah, I don't have any rocks. But if we check my stats, see, I gained nothing in throwing. If you do not have throwing skill, you cannot gain it. It doesn't matter what you do. If I need it to be night. <sighs> You know, just for giggles, what's over here? Whoa! Late frosts of winter give way to the greenery of spring. There's a crisp smell of cedar in the air. The forest seems to be unusually still and quiet. Uh-oh, look. Monster, what the heck is that? This ogre is in a bad mood. And big. Very big! Uh, run! Ooh. Not something I want to deal with. Afternoon and oh Jesus! I just need some time to go by. Now I'm gonna pause the video until so time goes by. Be right back. Okay, finally, it's sunset approaches. Yeesh. Okay. Uh, during the time I was able to rest a few times, so I'm going to cast fetch just a few times to gain some experience. And now let's sleep. Thank you. <laughs> you sleep comfortably among the fragrant flowers, and you awaken as the sun begins to rise. Booyah! 
eat the fruit. The sweet, ju juicy fruit of the tree is amazingly satisfying and refreshing. Booyah! Okay. Our health points are up, our magic points are up. Great. Let's do it. Also, by the way, if I hadn't made that clear before, by sleeping at Uranus Peace, you restore all of your stats to max. Your health, your stamina, and your magic. Alright. Now, on this brand new day, we're going to head back to that spore-spitting Spiria. And we're going to see what we can accomplish here. By the fetch spell. Because we need that seed. Cast the fetch spell. You get into a good position. You concentrate! You can do it, hero! You can do it! Ah. One more time. You can do this. Focus! Focus! No. You'll know he's got it if you see it hover directly over one of the plants. Oh, yes! Hold it! Booyah! Do 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 do! You place the seed in your pack. And all the plants are like, Bleh. Uh, by the way, an alternate solution for the fighter in this in this challenge, they could use the sword to kill one of the plants to simply take the seed, but you, the dryad will be mad that you killed a, a creature of the for forest, and she will kill you. So do not do that. So let's uh, save, because that's definitely a save-worthy event. And in this game, we did not kill a goblinosaurus. We got the seed. Yes! So let's go to the Dryad and give her the seed. Hope I'm going the right way. Oh! Oh! This must be the town graveyard! What a rundown place. It's really creepy here even during the daylight hours. Oh, whoa. Uh, the graveyard really doesn't have anything useful. Watch out for this hole. Uh, look, hole. Nothing grows in the dirt of the old graveyard. Some of the graves appear to have been disturbed. What is this? Just, oh. Look, plant. Growing up out of the grave is an evil-looking plant with a slimy poison sheen. We'll get back to that later. We, we will come back to that plant. That is a mandrake root. We will come back to it. Because we will have to do something with that root. Head to the left now. I think, I think this is where we saw the stag. And a little more to the left here, I think. Maybe? Yes, I think we're definitely on the right track. Just keep heading this way. Yep, here's the Dryad's Grove. Have you brought the seed I requested? I can't remember the voice I used. Yes. Give the seed to me. You drop the seed into the Dryad's limbs. Ding! Now this will boldly grow where none has grown before. Bit of a Star Trek reference. Actually, actually, these games are actually littered with Star Trek references. It's unreal. Heed now my words, friend of the forest, and heed them well. Friend, you must know that there is an evil in this valley which perverts the ways of nature. The prophecy says that a hero will bring a young human from out of this darkness. If you are the one to accomplish this task, there is a potion to break enchantments which you must have the healer make. You must gather these ingredients. Oh, better write this down. Flowers from Irana's Peace. Green fur. Fairy dust. A magic acorn. And flying water. Farewell, friend. I must return to my concentration. May the forest forever surround you. You see an acorn fall slowly to the ground. Get acorn. See, that's the first ingredient we need. You pick up the Dryad's Gift of a Magic Acorn. Okay, better save here, because that's that's a big thing we just learned. We learned another task we have to do. We learned about Dispel Potion. So we have to make a Dispelling Potion, and we do now have the Magic Acorn. Uh, what she mentioned otherwise? The flowers, the fur, the, f the green fur, the flying water, and fairy dust. Hmm. We've already given flowers to the healer, so we don't need to bother giving her that. But we should go give this acorn to her and tell her about the potion that has to be made. She might have other advice about how to get the remaining ingredients. Otherwise, a fairly successful outing. Hope everyone's having a good day. It is... Oh, happy Thanksgiving, everybody! That is the day I'm recording this. Hope everyone's enjoying their turkey, or whatever they're doing. I have to work today. 
We just have Thanksgiving on a different day. There's that log, so I wonder if I head north here, I'll head back to the healer. I think that log was specifically put in as a marker point for people. It's still, it's still day is dawning on day four. We've actually accomplished quite a bit in just this day. Let's go. Oh, and that's right, we can go back to the stables and work again. Knock. Come on in! <clears throat> you say to the healer, I have been to visit the Dryad of the Woods. She gave me a magic acorn and told me the formula for the, a potion to dispel enchantments. So I think we already gave her the acorn. Give acorn? Can we do that? So you help the Dryad. That's nice. She does keep the forest around here healthy. So that's how you make a dispel potion, is it? Th thanks for letting me know. Let's see. To make a dispel potion, I still need the fairy dust, the green fur, and the fine water. Uh, okay, so next time we will have to gather those ingredients. So, uh, let's replace that one. Uh, uh, gave acorn to healer. And that's going to do it. This is Firewizard23. Take care and bye-bye for now, everybody.